guys welcome to a brand new series so today we are going to be starting a zombie apocalypse series so i have been wanting to do this for a hot minute now because i love the idea of doing a zombie apocalypse series in general i love zombies they are low-key my biggest fear but like we move past that you know and i've just been waiting to start this series until i finish college and now that i have i thought that today would be the perfect day to begin this series so as you can see here this is gonna be the main character of this series so her name is Adeline and she is like the cutest sim ever. So to give you a bit of backstory for this sim, basically she is this extremely kind of preppy gal. She loves wellness, she loves staying fit, she loves Starbucks. Her favorite color is pink and she's very cute. Babes, distracted. So she is currently working as a retail employee as a part-time job. On the side, she's trying to pursue social media. She really wants to be a social media star, probably a Instagram influencer and I love how she's not even looking at me. Kind of rude if you ask me. So she moved to Samwise Shuno you know, to pursue this career. So the person that she moved out with is Hayden. So this is him here. He and Adeline have been dating for around a year now and they are pretty cute together. They get along pretty well. They're not match, you know, they're not perfect together, but they're okay. They wanted to move out together to Samwise Shuno. You know. He dyed his hair blonde. You get the point. And he is a very athletic guy and he's trying to be an actor. So he is doing gigs and so on and trying to become famous along side Adeline. Not gonna lie, neither of them are very much succeeding right now, but here we are. And then finally, we have Erin, who has just walked away from me. Oh my good god. We have their roommate, Erin, who is a very cute sim. She's probably my favorite. Once again, she is very athletic, and she loves playing basketball outside their apartment. And she moved in with them a little later than they moved out together. They needed the extra money for the rent, so they decided to ask her to move in. And obviously, it's worked out pretty well, because she gets on very well with the both of them. So she is a lawyer. She's not very far into the career, but she is working her way up but obviously she loves doing athletic stuff on the side so here they are in creative sim this is adeline and she wants to be a world famous celebrity she is high maintenance self-absorbed and a survivalist which you will see in a second what that means here are some of her outfits she is really cute she obviously likes a lot of like pink and purple colors i really like how she dresses it's very adorable then we have hayden her boyfriend whose last name is kramer little saw reference there and this is his every day. Here again are all of his outfits. His aspiration is party animal and he is self-assured, hot-headed and again a survivalist. And then finally we have Erin who wants to be a bodybuilder. She is active, self-assured and paranoid and also a survivalist. <laughs> so I think we'll just have a bit of a chill day here today. It is noon so we have a nice Sunday off so I'm pretty sure no one's working. Yeah no one is working today so we have a lovely day at home so maybe we can just go do some yoga. Adeline absolutely loves doing that. Okay never mind. Uh, Hayden has just absolutely beat her to that. Okay, just kidding. I didn't want to do that anyways. I didn't want to. It's fine. It's fine, Hayden. This looks so lovely out here. Like, look at this. Overlooking like the whole of San Marcino. It's so gorgeous. Look at all these lovely people trying by. Absolutely lovely place to be. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, there's not really much to do, so I think maybe we'll just like, I don't know, watch like the cooking channel. I don't know. I feel like Adeline's really bad at cooking. Like, she does not enjoy cooking at all, so I feel like maybe she'd want to try and learn it a little bit. Try and learn some things. I'm not gonna lie. She really dislikes a lot of stuff so to find anything she actually likes would be very impressive erin are you still out here babes yeah you are maybe you could like i don't know do you have any friends out here not really you don't really know it many people they haven't been here for that long especially erin erin's only been here for maybe a couple of months so she honestly doesn't really know many people she kind of left all of her family behind so there's not really anyone out there that she really knows but you know what despite not knowing anyone at least she looks incredible you know what i mean like be alone wolf babes it really looks good on you so like i'm just saying okay maybe we should actually head home because erin is trying to stink up the place and that is manky as hell so please get home you dutter because that is disgusting maybe we'll take a quick shower okay clearly these two are having a nice time on this sofa right now i kind of hate them for that like as a single person but like sure you do you honey buns this is really awkward but erin's gonna go and just like interrupt them like not interrupt but like third wheeling like her whole life she's a third wheel in this apartment which is not really what you want they're just gonna go ahead and watch well i mean are they really watching no they're just gonna go ahead and watch the tv and oh okay uh...
Okay, the TV has just gone off. Um, that was weird. So uh, there's an emergency. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe they should just stay inside for a bit and like wait, wait for this to cool down or whatever. They don't really know what's going on. Honestly, these two didn't even see it really because like they were making out. Like it's kind of rude of them, but like here we are just casually missing that important announcement. But here we go. Aaron's going to be like, did you just see that guys? Like I know you weren't really watching, but like that was kind of scary. Like it sounds like one of those movies, you know what I mean? Like I feel kind of scared right now because it's it's kind of like a scary situation to be in like do you guys think this is real or like a joke or like what but like hayden's just like really like i i'm sure that's just like a you know something they have to say in case anyone is doing that but i'm sure that's only happened like once or twice you know like don't even worry about it it'll be it'll be fine adeline's just gonna come out here do a little bit of yoga she likes to try and do that every day and she also likes to post on her social media about what she's currently doing so let's go ahead and do that and just be like having a fun day today guys doing yoga hope you guys are doing well honestly i would follow her she's really cute i mean not my personal forte for influencers but like i would i don't care like look at the last you know what i mean but whilst adeline is just i don't know about to sit down i don't get yoga i don't understand it she's sort of missing out on all of the stuff that is going on down here and uh it's it, it's it's not it's not looking all that great for some people it's getting to dinner time now and i'm not gonna lie none of them really like cooking so i think we'll just go ahead and hire a service see if we can get a pizza delivered or something let's get a canadian bacon pizza i don't know that sounds kind of rank but we'll get it anyways this pizza's kind of taking forever this is kind of annoying like i don't know why it's taking this long maybe we'll just like head out see in the hallway maybe let's just see if there's anyone there like bro where's our pizza going i don't even know i have no idea where it is okay it seems like there's nothing out here that's kind of a weird sound though what is that sound oh uh excuse you aren't you like our neighbor are you okay sir are you okay can i gossip with you like are you okay like is everything okay oh my god what is going on wait uh um uh, you, you know Jacques, it's it's been great but but i uh i think i'm gonna just like head back inside uh, i'm just gonna go here uh quickly 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 Okay, lock the door, lock the door, lock the door, lock the door. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, that's how I'd be too, Hayden. Um, okay. Let's warn the others. Um, quickly. Express worry about possible apocalypse. I think so, yeah. I, I mean, I don't want to, like, assume anything. I don't want to make assumptions or anything. But I would say that that's the apocalypse. Like, I hate to tell you this, but I think it's true. Let's just, like... Oh my god, I don't even know. Like, tell a story about zombies. Be like, Adeline. I swear my... I, I just saw a zombie. Like, I swear I just saw a zombie. Adeline's like, no, you didn't. You're just joking. Zombies don't exist. They're a fake thing. They literally don't exist. We are in an apartment in so much, you know how the hell would a zombie get to us? That is just stupid. And he's like, okay, you do you, honey bun, but I'm gonna run away. <laughs> normally, Hayden doesn't really like pranks, so I think that Adeline is a bit like... That's kind of weird, like, he doesn't normally do that. Like, I've, he's he's very serious, so she's just gonna say to Erin, she's just gonna be like, he was just saying this, and, like, I feel kind of worried because I don't think it's true, but, like, I don't know, like, should I go back out there? Like, should I see her, or, like, should I see if he's lying? Like, how am I meant to know if he's lying or not? Like, it just seems really out of character for him, so, like, why would he be lying? Also, the fact that he's shy this whole time is so funny to me anyway <laughs> so erin's just gonna be like okay if, if people really want to check i will check don't you worry babes i've got your back let me just go out here i'll have a quick look through the door and i'll come right back if i see anything but i promise you i won't so she's just gonna go through the door and see and oh my god that is a zombie that is a zombie that is a zombie run run lock the flipping door you saf son she doesn't even what is she doing zombie oh my god babe stop standing out there get back inside get back inside oh my god oh my god Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he's right there. He's oh my god, okay. I I I I I I think it's not time to play a guitar. I think it's time to be scared. Let's just uh express worry. Say, yeah, I, I I hate to tell you this. I think you're I think you're right. I think he was telling the truth. Like, I swear there was something out there. Like, I don't even know what to do with myself. Like, what are we gonna do? We're in an apartment, we're stuck in an apartment, we're stuck in the middle of a city, and like if we just look out here right now, I don't think it's gonna look very good. So she's currently feeling worried about the apocalypse. The speech made Adeline worried about the future. Could this be the end of humanity? Okay, let's Let's call a bit, a bit of a meeting between the three of them. Bro's in his pants, sure. And let's just be like, okay, what are we gonna do? I don't know what to do. We have no one. How are we gonna do this? I'm so scared. I'm so frightened. I don't know what to do. What are we gonna do? How the hell do we fix this? Like, how do we get out of this place? Is it everyone? Is this is this a whole, is this a world thing? Are we the first people to experience this? Can you get bitten? How does it spread? Adeline is asking so many questions and Hayden is like, bro, I, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Like, he's definitely not like the most brave in this kind of situation. Like, he he makes it out like he'd be really brave but in reality bro has just 
gone and hid under his bed covers. Look, he wants to go cry it out. That is how scared he is. He is petrified right now and he honestly doesn't know what to do. So he's just gonna go to his bedroom, honestly, and like lock his door. Like he does not even care. Like let's just lock the door for everyone but Hayden. He is just not having it. He's honestly a bit of a wuss when it comes to this kind of thing. But honestly, I would also be. So who am I kidding? So Adeline's just gonna like talk to herself in the mirror and be like, okay, Adeline, you've got this. You could do this. You've got your nails done, you know? Like this is this is prime time. At least you look great if you're gonna die. So that's that is my motto in life, really. They're just gonna talk to each other and they're gonna think through the different things that they could do right now. One of the main predicaments is the fact that they have no food in the house. The pizza never came. Meaning that the only things we have to eat is these like little spices, which honestly that looks very spicy. Not for me. And maybe a little bit more spices and like some olive oil or something. Like that is our that is our food. Oh, and salt and pepper, you know. So we're not doing too great on that aspect. Oh, and we have a little bit of fruit. So Erin is gonna be like, okay, what do they do in the movies? What do they always do wrong and they don't do first? Let's go ahead and board up this thing. Let's use some things that we've got and let's like push stuff against it. Let's use this. Let's put that there. There we go. We're just gonna like fully block ourselves in because we don't know how long this is gonna last. Like we don't know if this is gonna be from like days, hours, weeks, months. We have no idea. So I think it's best to just grab everything we can and just pile it up on top and hopefully if any zombie tries to get in, we should be okay. Adeline really does not like being hungry and she's getting very, very hungry right now. So I think that she's starting to get a little bit hungry towards uh, poor Aaron, which is not ideal. We can't really eat anything. These are apparently fake, so we can't even eat those. We have nothing in our inventory or anything. So we are basically screwed in terms of food, which that is our main issue. Like we have water for now and we have power for now, but the zombie is still right outside the apartment. And that is very concerning because what on earth are we gonna do? Do we stay here? Like, I don't know. We have literally nothing. Look at this, have a microwave meal, nothing. They have nothing, absolutely nothing in their fridge. It is completely empty. Oh god, guys, this is why you don't need takeaway every night, apparently, because in a situation like this, you kind of screwed. <gasps> oh my god, look at it over here. Oh my god, guys, I'm actually scared. Genuinely speaking, it's my biggest fear. Like, I hate to tell you this. I'm playing a series that is my biggest fear. I'm so smart, I know. Honestly, they're all just stood here, not moving. Like, this is the point that they're at. Like, this is how scared they are right now. Adeline's just gonna come over here and be like, can you please do something? Like, can you, I don't know, like, help us or anything? Do you have any ideas at all? Like, are you ever gonna help us? Like, why did you just go and hide away and lock the door? Like, that's so rude. Like, that is my room. This is literally the apocalypse. Like, can you please do something? And he's just gonna be like, absolutely. Absolutely not. What do you think I'm gonna do? I'm useless in this situation. Is it not that obvious? Like, I know I talk big. I know I do. But clearly I do not in this situation because this is terrifying, okay? And I don't know what to do. Hayden is getting really annoyed right now. So Bro's just gonna leave once again. It is very clear that this is a thing that he loves to do. He loves to walk away in any sort of argument, in any sort of actual intense situation. Like, he cannot handle it. He has to just leave immediately. So he's gonna just do a bit of a yoga routine. Honestly, just to calm himself down a little bit, but really to kind of forget that all of this crap is happening right now because clearly it is quite a scary situation. I think that Adeline's just gonna go ahead and check on her social media, like add to some scrolls, say like, guys, there is a zombie inside of my house. Like, what do I do? Like, please come and save us. But within the first like 10 minutes of the post being up, rather than getting like 100 likes, she gets zero. So she has no one. No one has seen that because no one's on social media right now, except for her, which is actually just makes sense. But still, I think she's honestly gonna take a bath with soaks. Like she's gonna have a muscle relaxing soak She's gonna be like, I don't know what to do right now, but you know what? I love baths. <laughs> Gotta love them. And it's currently 1 a.m. nearly, so we are getting very tired. But honestly, going to sleep seems like a really bad idea right now because if we go to sleep, we don't know if anything's gonna come in. I mean, we have this little area, but there is still a zombie right outside waiting for us. So we can't, like, we can't go to sleep. So Erin's just gonna come over onto the computer and, like, maybe, like, I don't know, look online, like, see if we can get anything. Let's browse the web, see if there's anyone talking about it or anything like that. Just see really if there's anyone that can help. Look up some conspiracy theories to see if there is anyone that has talked about this before. Maybe they have some ideas of how to kill them. Like she's seen a few movies, but honestly, none of these guys are really movie watchers. So they don't know crap. They don't know to chop their heads off or shoot them in the head or dismember them completely. They don't know that, okay? They don't know that. So she's very scared because she has no idea. And let's research rabid rodent fever, which could potentially be the zombies. We don't know. It's 2 a.m. They're starting to get really 
freaking exhausted, but Adeline's just gonna come out onto the balcony and try to apologize a little bit to Hayden and be like, I'm so sorry. Like, it is really starting to get to me, you know? Like, there's just so much going on and, and, and I don't even know how to handle it. And I feel like I'm just taking it on you because, like, you're not really doing much. And, like, I hate to tell you, but you're really not. But I I'm sorry. Like, I really am sorry. I really hope that you're going to forgive me. Oh, we got a bit of information. Rabbit rodent fever is a dangerous disease. A left untreated results in death. As the conditions of the patient worsen, the disease mutates into an airborne contagion which spreads to other sims in close proximity. Okay, let's really hope it's not that because if that's the case, then we will get infected from just being in the vicinity. But whilst this is going on, it's kind of weird because uh, the zombie from outside has just gone from the apartment. And as they're just sat here chatting, if they look down right now, they would see that the zombie is slowly approaching right by this lovely balcony. So as they're just sat, the zombie crawls up the side of the building and it's right next to them all of a sudden. They have no preparation. They didn't even see it. They have no idea what's going on. Without even thinking, Hayden immediately grabs onto Adeline, pushes her in front of him using her as a body block, which is rude if you ask me. She pushes him off of her immediately and in her pushing him away from her body, she pushes him right into the arms of the zombie and then he is bitten and it is not looking good for my guy i'm not gonna lie to you guys <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this first part of this series i'm not gonna lie i was probably quite a mess but i'm kind of trying to do story plus non-story so it's kind of difficult to do that and also sims is very difficult to control so please ignore that but hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you'll be excited for the next part let me know what you think is gonna happen next in the storyline and let me know what you think is gonna happen to hayden Remember to like and subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys in a video. I love you guys. Goodbye.